In some of my recent videos, I told you that I want to try new skincare products. I want to try a couple more procedures. Today, that is exactly what we're doing. I haven't been eating the healthiest, admittedly. And let me tell you, the body acne situation has been killing me. I've been breaking out like nobody's business, and I'm gonna show you a real quick acne update. I wanted to take the time to try out new procedures, to try out new products, to try out things that you would see at the dermatologist's office and the science behind whether they do or don't work. That's what we're gonna do for the next couple weeks with these body breakouts. I am going to be using the power of plasma. Before we get into the science, let me give you a little acne update and show you what my skin has been doing. Jawline has always been an area of breakouts for me and it's bad right now. I know that my hormones have been a little bit out of whack and it's showing up on my face. I've been getting these little blackheads. Do you see these? I totally believe that this is from sweat and from sunscreen. You end up breaking out real bad. Look at that, especially over here. Ugh. Now let's look at the back. Demonetized. <laughs> my shoulders and my back have been ridiculous. I've been sweating. I haven't been breaking out like this in probably a year or two. As much as I try, it isn't always physically possible to remove my sweat right after it happens, especially if I've been hiking. The breakouts are so killer because these are the painful ones. They're the ones that I know are caused from both hygiene and from bad eating because they have that kind of inflammation to them that I get when I eat a lot of sugar and a lot of processed foods. I wanted to experiment with new laser treatments, new therapies, you know, put these scientific things to the test and see if they're a waste of your money or if they're worth it. That's where this stuff comes in. This is Plaskin, which is a plasma ion machine that basically reintroduces plasma to your skin to resurface it. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the science behind this, how it's meant to work, and then I'm gonna put it to the test for a couple of weeks and give you weekly updates um, so that we can see whether it helps or whether it hurts. This is a device that is from Korea and it is actually FDA registered, which is wonderful. A lot of natural skincare or holistic skincare treatments are not FDA registered. FDA is the Food and Drug Administration, but this actually has been proven by the Food and Drug Administration. And if you've been watching this channel or keeping up with skincare for any amount of time, you know that the technology and dermatology in Korea Korea is ridiculous. It's cutting edge, it's top of the line, and everything they do um, is pretty superior. Here we've got our device. We've got a handy little packing bag. We've got our user manual, our charger, our soft and gentle cleansing moisturizer. I don't know if I'm gonna use this or my own regular skincare. Um, I'll look at the ingredients and I might actually use this. And this is what we're working with. Got a couple extra for giveaways because it's all about sharing the love. Team shakalaka. And then third, we've got the white one. Boop, 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 boop. Here's our device, but what exactly are plasma ions? How do they work scientifically? And what is this supposed to do for your skin? Well, this plasma technology was apparently discovered by NASA. Now, this device was originally made for atopic dermatitis, and because it's using plasma to actually re-stimulate the skin, it's supposed to be good for a myriad of reasons. The before and afters show a really impressive testimony to acne and also to scarring. We've also got some improvement of skin tone and texture, and I saw that it's also supposed to help with eczema and dry skin. So then why is one device claiming to do so many things? The reason that this is different is because it's not a skincare product. There are no chemicals, there are no ingredients to this. It is literally using a science-based plasma ion. This isn't light, this isn't some sort of laser. This is an actual plasma ion therapy, and it creates plasma ions and shoots them all the way deep into the skin, which kind of helps to resurface the skin from the bottom skin layers all the way up, from the very bottom of the dermis. Now, because wrinkles start in the dermis, because severe acne scarring usually goes down to the dermis, because acne Acne and irritation is inflammatory, which these plasma ions can cut out, and also because that has the same mechanism of action as eczema. That's why this technology has the potential to work for different skin problems instead of just one. So I'm gonna follow instructions and charge this up. While this is charging, let's talk science. What exactly is plasma? Plasma is a state of matter. Matter makes up me, it makes up you, it makes up different items, etc. And matter exists in different states. Let's use water as an example. You know from chemistry class that solids are solid, like this wall, this table, 
this camera, as well as ice. Now another state is a liquid. Liquids fit to their container, just like water. There is also gas. And in our example with water, it comes in the form of water vapor. Plasma is similar to a gas because just like a gas, all of the molecules are super hypercharged. Case of things like our water vapor or chlorine, that gas naturally has a positive or negative charge. Plasma is different because it doesn't have a positive or negative charge. It's moving so fast that those electrons and those protons are completely separated, but they're balanced. Lightning is actually made up of plasma. So is the Aurora Borealis, otherwise known as the Northern Lights. And NASA uses ion technology and plasma to even fuel and power their rocket ships because in space they need inertia to get their things to where they want them to go to explore the planets. So when it comes to this device, this Plaskin, it uses this plasma ion technology to shoot into your skin. Again, it goes down all the way into those lower layers to re-stimulate collagen, to help with scars, to decrease inflammation for acne, and for atopic dermatitis and for eczema. And it's supposed to resurface. Again, no chemicals. Again, no acids, nothing other than actual ions and a plasmatic state of matter that goes into your skin. I'm gonna test it on my back acne breakouts. I'm gonna test it on my chest acne. I'm gonna test it on my acne scars right here and underneath my jawline. So that being said, let's see if it's just hype or if success is in the science. Well, this is fully charged up. I'm gonna remove the little strip. I'm excited. Let's consult the user manual. It says to use on clean skin. I'm gonna use these clean Propore AF wipes. And we're just gonna remove all of this sweat all of this oil that likes to build up on my face. Get those body breakouts. Then it says use Plaskin along your skin in the desired area for five to 10 seconds. Um, use it about five to 10 minutes each time. And if you need, you can use it more. Uh, after using Plaskin is when you apply the cream. So during plasma generation, the blue lamp will be turned on and any sound or smell is just the generation of ions. So. There's one, I'm gonna go on two. Okay. Do you guys hear that? Holy guacamole. Whoa! <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all. Please tell me you hear that. It doesn't hurt, the machine doesn't hurt, but it hurts to touch the freaking pimple in general. All right, so turned off. Ooh, they said that there might be a little bit of plasma gunk and it even says to remove with um, the cotton swab, but you can actually see how the skin and the plasma generate this substance. I feel good, I feel soft. It probably takes time to like see results. I'm getting way too excited. Uh, now I'm gonna apply this cream and it even says the Craw Cream contains ceramide NP, um, which can help reduce skin dryness and moisturize the skin. I'm gonna use it just to stick with protocol. It has shea butter and macadamia nut oil, which is actually really good. It's got aloe vera. It does have an alcohol, but again, I don't know if the alcohol is drying or if the alcohol in this case is um, an emulsifier, so. Feels good on the skin. All right, my beautiful butterflies. Well, that is application one. I'm gonna be doing this every single day for 30 days. And I'm gonna see you in a week with an update. Let's see how this goes. Bye, kitty. We'll see you in a week. I love you. Good morning, my friends. I have just finished plaskinning the very last section of my face and it has officially been one week and one day and so I wanted to give you a little update. So first off, breakouts. Let's get real, let's talk. Uh, first let me show you a close up of my skin. I had a couple pimples that kind of surfaced and now they're starting to scab over. You can kind of see where they were. I've got a couple down here as well. Specifically here on my chest, there has been a lot going on and I will show you my back as well. It's only been a week, but you can see where some of those big spots from last time have changed and gone down, but new ones have come up. 
Now, let's just talk about this because what's so interesting is that when I was first starting off on my acne journey, before I knew how the skin worked, maybe when I was like 12 or 13, I would see this a week into my acne treatment and I would get so upset. I'd be like, oh my God, this doesn't work. It's breaking me out. It's making it worse. And I would totally give up. Now I'm older. I am wiser and I know a bit more about my skin. And sometimes when you use a new acne product or a new treatment, your skin purges. Purges basically means there's stuff that's already stuck in the skin, but it doesn't have a way out. And when you start using a new treatment, it kind of kickstarts that process to get it out. Now, is this purging or is this brand new breakouts? I don't know, but that's why you have to keep on using your acne treatment for three weeks minimum to actually see if it works or not. The way the skin works is that it does have a cycle. You have cells at the bottom that get pushed to the top and exfoliate off. And if you've got something at the bottom that an acne treatment is now working up, or you had something in there before the acne treatment, it's now coming to the surface. A lot of people blame their acne treatment and say it doesn't work, but maybe it's just purging. The skin takes on average 21 to 28 days to renew. And especially for women, it's important that you wait that time to make sure that your monthly cycle isn't affecting or causing any of those extra breakouts. Now the problem is that if this persists, if I keep getting more and more and more of these after like the three week, two and a half to three week mark, then I know that it's not just purging, this is actually causing my acne. So week one, I've got some breakouts. It's a little bit frustrating, especially because I haven't had acne here on my chest in like this, like this is probably the worst breakout I've had in like a year um, on my chest, which is amazing. My back is kind of always icky and then this area is always icky. Um, but this is what we're looking at. The scars, I'm not seeing a huge difference either. Something I have noticed is that my skin doesn't feel as overly oily with this. Normally when I get out of the shower, my skin feels really tight and then it creates its own grease because my skin is naturally dry. With this, I feel like it's kind of changing my oil production and how dry slash oily my skin is naturally. So this is just an update. Also, my blackheads are even surfacing, which I'm hoping is just purging because it's been forever since that. Here's my scar. Anyways, that is a little quick update. Um, week one, let's continue using this for weeks two and three and see how it goes. I love you. Does anybody else do that to their cats? It's the most entertaining thing ever. Okay, you can go back to bed. Love you. Real talk. Breaking out so flipping bad and freaking out because of it. My skin has been turning itself upside down and I was wondering what the heck is going on and is this destroying my skin? And then my uterus decided to turn itself inside out and everything made sense. So because of feminine periods and things of that nature, I am breaking out horribly, which is why I'm deciding to give this an extra week. And children, this is why if you're testing a new acne product, you need to do it for a minimum of 28 days because that's how long it takes your skin to renew. And if you do have something like a period, if you're a woman, this could make you think that it's an acne product when it is actually your hormones. So this is what's up. This is my face right now. This is what's going on. This is my current body situation. But something fascinating that's happened that I want to point out is how unraised my acne pimples are. So normally whenever I get period pimples, they're a little bit more pussy. They're whiteheads. You've seen them on me. You've seen them on other people. And if you have acne, you've probably seen them on yourself. But check this out. My acne is completely flat. Like this doesn't happen to me often. And I'm wondering if this like brought down inflammation. Um, it's very perplexing because I've never seen a product that has done this before. And I'm not gonna lie, it has been a little bit hard to reach my back with the Plaskin every single day. So I haven't been as religious about it. But yeah, guys, that's what's up. So that is my 10 day update at this point. And I guess I'll see you back here in a week. Good morning, my friends. It has been yet another week and I wanted to show you my skin. 
I'm actually so impressed. I'm gonna show you my body acne, a little update. Here's an update kind of on scarring. Again, I think scarring will take a little bit longer to see. Um, and a couple of marks that are going down from that purging phase. You can see these are scabbing over. And as I thought, my skin was purging. I'm so excited. Here's my back. As you can see, there's a couple of scabs, but overall they are going down. Look at this, I have no new pimples, which is amazing. All of these are completely flat. You can kind of see there, they're flat, they're scabs, but there is nothing new. It's all just marks. At the beginning, all of these on my back, you saw them, they were bumpy, they were painful, and they were like pus-filled. And they aren't anymore, and I'm so happy. So I'm also going to show you the area that used to be those big pussy pimples. Check this out. Not gonna lie, even though this is like a long wand, it is a little bit hard to reach all the way back. And to get down here, I have to go like this. Um, just a word of warning if you're not super flexible, and even if you are, um, just keep in mind that not only do you get skincare treatment, you get a flexibility workout. Right back here used to be all of my big pimples. Look, they've completely gone down. That's an update. I'm gonna be using this for one to two more weeks. I, I wanna see how the scars go, because as of now, still got scars on my face. I have to compare the before and after, because sometimes when you look at your skin and do this every single day, you don't realize the difference. That's what's up, guys. Check in. The house might be a mess, but my face is not. Today is the last official day of my test run, and I wanna show you how things have been going and my final thoughts. So first off, I am thoroughly impressed. My skin is honestly flat. So again, this plasma device is meant to work on scarring and on wrinkles and on acne, but like if anything, I feel like it helps to speed up healing. I have been having breakouts, periods, hot weather, such as life. Oh, and full confession. So as I added the extra week, I didn't do my back. This is also why I'm realizing that it has helped flatten out my acne. These right here on my back are a lot more inflamed and bumpy. I got more breakouts on my back when I stopped using this, but when you look at these, you can see how raised and inflamed they are. I'm gonna be honest, even though it is like a reaching device, it is hard to reach the back. It is hard to reach the chest. Um, and if anything, I think that the wand should be bigger for body. But this little device has actually blown me away. I was excited, but skeptical. Because like, especially if I don't feel something working, like if I don't have needles going into my skin or feel a burning, it's almost like, oh, well, is it actually working? But when I compare this to what my skin looked like on week one, I'm amazed. Does it get rid of acne? I wouldn't say it gets rid of acne. I would say that this is, if anything, good to prevent acne. It literally flattens acne and speeds up the healing process. In literally less than a week, half of the big pimples that I had here are gone. So that's the final verdict. This is the rest of my body. Again, it's been a little bit hard to reach my back and full transparency on this extra week, I didn't do anything to my back. Is it worth the money? That depends on how bad your acne is. For me, yes. Especially because it helps to cut down with the pain as well. Also scar wise, I need to compare to the first video really well because I don't know if there's a major difference. That is plasma technology and how it works and how it might be a option for you or your skin. I'll give you updates on how I continue using it and maybe we could even like put it under a microscope and see what the skin looks like before and after. Either way, I love you guys. Thank you for being on this scientific journey with me. If you learned something, give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so be sure to come back then. If you wanna be a super beautiful butterfly, you can actually put that on your calendar and be like, Cassandra uploads every Monday and Thursday. And that way you can jump on the video right when I post it and you can actually be here when I'm responding to comments. So after I edit and post this, I'm just gonna go down below and I'm gonna start talking to you because I love talking to you and hearing about what's going on with your life and in your face and in your skin. <laughs> so I love you all to pieces and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> love you guys, bye.